Hey guys, do, uh, good morning. Um, I've got, got a couple of questions. Um, actually, just one really big question. Um, you know, I, um, a couple weeks ago, I was working on a triangular fuselage plane, and there, there, there were a couple of concerns that, that hit me about that. Uh, one, one of them, <clears throat> one of the concerns I had was that, you know, being the triangular fuselage, with a point, the point down here at the bottom, if if the plane comes in and you know, drags drags the bottom, and then the belly sets down, is this nose, is this tip up here going to catch the dirt or catch the grass and tip up like that? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, my, the the, uh, the concerns I have with this comes from just just from my sheer inexperience. So what I figured I'd do is I'd take, take this, this plane here and just kind of set it aside for a little bit. Um, uh, so what, what, I, what I came up with was a two inch by two inch uh, squared fuselage plane. It's still, still the full length Dollar Tree foam board, uh, 30 inches. Um, I, I, uh, I think I pretty much did the same thing on, on the back. Uh, as I did the other one, I set the, the uh, horizontal stabilizer uh, back a little bit, just kind of give the plane a little, little bit more length. Um, and the, the, the wing that I'm going to use with it is the purple and red one that I had made uh, last week. Uh, that's why this is purple and red. thought maybe that would go kind of well. Um, that was actually part of part of the other concern that I had was a couple weeks ago I had a guy tell me that having a plane that's all black is kind of hard to see in the sky. Uh, I don't know how true that is. You know, again, that's just my sheer inexperience. So that's why I wanted wanted some color. Um, so the triangular fuselage plane, we're going to set that aside for a little while. I'll come back to that. Um, my question is. <clears throat> Is is there is there a um, is there a formula, or you know is, is there a certain method uh, that that will that will tell me um, where would be the the, mo the most op well the, the best place to put um, my wing on the fuselage you know um, do I have it all the way forward you know a couple inches back. Um, how, how, how do I figure out where to put the wing on the fuselage? Um, you know, I, 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 you know be, be, because, because it's the Dollar Tree foam board and packing tape, I mean, I don't have a lot of money in it. <clears throat> but I mean, it's, it's quite a bit of work. And yeah, I, I certainly have a ball putting them together. But the fact is, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to take it up and just have it, you know, loop around and dive in, into the dirt like my last one. Um, I like like my last one did. Um, you know, I'm I'm trying I'm trying real hard. Uh, I'm certainly not discouraged. You know, I, I, I it's just you know I, 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 I want to be able to make sure that I that I get it right or as right as I possibly can. So if you, if you guys can help me out, you know, um, you know, where, the, the, you know, so the the grand question is, where where do I put the wing? On, on the fuselage. Uh, if you guys can help me out with that, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.